Good morning guys and welcome back. So this is going to be the first part series of the Jurassic World Jeep build. Now I'm not sure how many series this is going to be, but I want to give you guys as much content and information as possible. So if you guys want to do your own Jeep build or Jurassic build, whatever it might be, it might be a Jeep, might be a Ford Explorer, it might be anything else. But I want to give you guys as much information and detail into what we're doing, how we're doing, how much everything is costing, a breakdown of every single thing that's involved in actually building a Jurassic Jeep. Now, I'll be going over in today's video why we're doing it, how we're doing it, uh, why I chose the vehicle we chose, and why I chose Jurassic World over Jurassic Park as well. And the different things I'm going to be doing along the way as well, it's going to be slightly different, but I think it's the way that if the Jeep JK was in the Jurassic World movie, this is sort of how they would build it. Um, now, I'll be doing a few other things a little bit different as well. Um, a few parts of haven't confirmed yet so I'm going to be leaving that for another video um, but if there's anything you guys like to know leave in the comments below I really want to answer as many questions as possible get as much information out there um, as I can so if you guys need to know anything uh, want to know any more information suggest anything that we should add to make it a little bit more authentic or whatever it might be leave in the comments below as well so first off why we're we doing a Jurassic World build well first thing they are bloody awesome everybody loves the Jurassic World movies the Jurassic park movies and the jeep just goes hand in hand with that and the other reason is my son absolutely loves dinosaurs he's got dinosaur gun boots dinosaur backpack dinosaur bear sheets everything he just loves dinosaurs so i thought what a better thing to do than build a jurassic jeep um and that kind of what got me inspired um he loves dinosaurs um so i kind of wanted to film the thing around the build around him and what he likes as well um because it's all about for me getting out on adventures, exploring different parts. I mean, we can't see dinosaurs, but it's all about getting out, exploring, and having fun with the Jeep, um, and something that he'll love as well, that he'll probably remember for years to come. And it's great that I'm documenting this as well, because um, as he gets older, he'll be able to look back. Um, we can watch these back as well. Um, and you can see what we've done, and see how he's enjoyed it as well. So the vehicle I'll be using, a lot of the Jurassic Park vehicles are, obviously the Jeep White J. Um, trying to find a Jeep YJ in Australia is very hard um, and because I was going to Jurassic World theme I don't really want to go a YJ because that's dominantly Jurassic Park and I want to leave that nostalgia with the YJ we used to have a TJ um, and because we've got the family now we've kind of upgraded to a JK and we've already got the JK and I found the colour scheme white and black will go along perfectly with the uh, Jurassic World so I don't want to change from that and I think the JK, if they keep with the JK in the movies, the JK would have been a perfect vehicle to use in the Jurassic World movie. So I think it kind of plays in with the timeline and plays into a perfect vehicle to be able to use for that. One thing we've already, one thing is that we've already had the vehicle so we don't have to buy one and it's a Jeep. It goes along with the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World and it's just a badass off-road vehicle. And we've already had it as well and we don't have to actually have to buy another vehicle. So if you are building a Jurassic World vehicle or a Jurassic Park vehicle, you don't necessarily have to use a Jeep or a JK or a TJ or a YJ. An XJ would be cool and we might do that later on and stuff like that. But you can use anything. So this is kind of just a, it's not really a guideline. It's kind of do what you want. Um, now the nostalgic thing about the YJs is they were in the movies. People would love them. Um, and with building my Jurassic World project, um, I didn't want to go with the same lines, the same decals, the same, like, to the point that the YJ was. Um, I love when people do it with the TJs and the JKs and stuff, um, but for me, I'd, to follow it along to the point, which I would have loved, would have had to repaint the entire vehicle into different colours um, and change a whole lot of the things. So, following along with the Jurassic Park theme, I don't think would have worked for my Jeep in the way I've already gotten in the way I want it to be. So I think the Jurassic World theme will suit it a bit better. And that's why I'm going to do it slightly different. Um, and the one, and a couple of things I've already got on the Jeep as well, we're going flow in nicely with the Jurassic Park. I've already got the uh, roof racks on that, which I think will look awesome with the shovel recovery tracks um, and stuff that I think will fo flow along with the Jurassic World um, if that the JK was inside the movie in the Jurassic World movie, if that makes sense. Um, so we'll be going with the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. We'll have these as the door stickers. Now comment below what we should do with the lines. Uh, we've got the door stickers. We're going with the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, um, as I said. And I think we're going to do something completely different that I don't think a lot of people have done or have seen before um, on the black side decals. 
um, with the Jurassic Park they normally, normally go for the thick red lines now if I was going to keep in the same thing I've done the black lines with the white lettering um, I think we're going to do something a bit different but let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see should we stick with thick black lines or go something different I'm leaning towards something different I'm not going to say what uh, but I might be working with a company or just not really working but they might be doing some specialised stickers up for me for those um, lines on the side that I think will work in really well um, I have some. I have seen some different builds on Instagram with um, tires down the side as those decals instead of the thick lines, and that looks awesome. I think we're going to go slightly different. Um, other things we'll be doing on the Jeep, we'll be doing obviously the door stickers, uh, matching in those lines um, as kind of per the movie. Um, we've got the the UHF antenna on the front. We've got a uh, stubby bar already set up to kind of match in with the YJ had that had that solid bar across the front. We've got the little loop bar on there as well. We're not going to be running a winch. It's not really necessary for me. Um, and as an adventure vehicle in the Jurassic World movie, um, how is it more? It's more exploration sort of stuff. I don't think it really will tie in with the movie that well with the Jurassic World movie. Uh, we do have the little loop light bar on there. We've got upgraded um, LED spotlights in there as well. Um, with the rear, I think we will do a bumper replacement. Um, the kind of time with the YJ theme, we might end up doing some loops um, on there as well. Um, as far as the roof goes, um, we'll be staying with a hard top because I think that's going to time with the Jurassic World theme a little bit more. Uh, we've got the Rhino Rack backbone system on there with the roof fix. Now on the roof fix, we'll be running paddleboard, um, which I think will be awesome because it's like adventure, um, adventure kind of styled. Jeep build will have the shovel rack on the right hand side and also the recovery tracks as well. We might be mounting the recovery tracks maybe on the bottom as well but let me know your suggestions for that. Um, wheels and tyres, we've got upgraded uh, Toyo Open Country AT tyres. Uh, eventually when those wear out we might either go with the B of Goodrich tyres where we were in, on the YJ in the first movie and um, kind of keep it with that classic theme or we might move to uh, something different. They are a good set of tyres. Uh, let me know your guys thoughts, but we are running the stock wheels um, on the Jeep just with upgraded tyres because I think that's going to time with um, With the Jurassic Park themed, they're not like super built And I think I really like that part of the movie as well that like they're not overdone, they're over thought, they're not over engineered and stuff like that um, So we will be running the stock wheels that are wrapped along in black, which I might, I might tidy up later on on the side of the Jeep it's just really simple, straightforward. Um, with my Jeep we are running a, it is a sport, uh, but we do have a front uh, locker, a uh, rear locker sorry, and front sway bar disconnect as well. It's not a Rupon, it's just a sport, but it did come with that. Uh, probably would have added those on in the future. Uh, but at the rear we're just running a uh, factory size tyre with a dirty gear bag, and I think that bag ties in nicely with kind of the adventure theme of the Jeep build itself. I might look at upgrading that bag to something a bit more uh, military or a bit more off-road style, something a little bit nicer, um, the kind of time of that theme. Um, so it's going to be a really basic build, but there's a lot of small elements to the build that I'm really excited about um, that I think will tie in very nicely. We might get rid of the decals um, on the side of the Jeep Sport and replace them with some, and replace those with some Jurassic Jeep kind of stickers. The Jeep logo on the front, I might replace that as well. Kind of just tying little things to the Jeep build. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys got any suggestions for the Jeep build, as I said, this is the part one um, of the series. I think it's going to be maybe a five or six part series. Um, I'm waiting confirmation for um, a couple other parts to get. And I'm kind of just playing with... I might want to do the stickers on the door and the decals on the side first. To see what I'm going to do with the rest of the Jeep. But if you guys got any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to know you guys' suggestions. Um, how should we take the build? Um, in the future, I might look at doing a flat set of fenders as well. I know my mate TJ's got a set um, that he might be parting with shortly. So we might be running those as a colour match to the Jeep um, and running the decals in those, which I think will look a lot nice in time with that classic styling of the Jeep as well. With that, um, how we've got the stubby bar, I think it ties in with the classic styling of the Jeep. So we might also look at doing something in the rear as well with the delete of the plastic bumper as well. Maybe run those hoops uh, that the YJ has. I think they look really nice, um, really clean as well. But as I said, any suggestions, um, any information you guys would like to know more on, um, anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. 
um, I like to go over every single detail of this build um, so prices um, so the decals we're running down the side um, on the side of the Jeep the Jurassic World stickers are from one company um, and the uh, other decals will be running out from a separate company just because the other company started getting a bit too expensive um, I think they were too expensive for what we're looking for so I'm trying to keep this like a budget build friendly for you guys um, if you guys can find a cheaper way there's different ways to do it you can either go vinyl wrap, plastic dip, paint um, stickers like we might be going to whatever it might be I'm trying to keep this budget friendly for you guys so if you guys want to do your own build you're not worried about budget spending a thousand dollars on building your own Jeep this can be done I'm trying to keep it less than five hundred dollars if I can uh, with everything involved um, so far just with the decals we're about eighty dollars in which isn't too bad I don't think um, so decals were from what one company I'll leave all the sizes and stuff down in the description below they were forty dollars each or eighty dollars um, and we're still working out prices for the other thing we might be doing with the black lines but as I said any thoughts leave in the comments below love to hear them um, just your thoughts um, about the build itself um, and I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be awesome it's going to be like an adventure style build which is going to be fantastic um, but that's pretty much it for today guys if you like this video smash that like button if you guys want to keep up to date with the parts of the series smash that subscribe button as well um, as I said we're going to go over every detail keep it as budget friendly as possible for you guys and for myself as well people can spend thousands of dollars on these builds um, so smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all these builds um, and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys next time